Hey everybody, it's your personal trainer, Coach Kozak. And I'm Claudia, and this is a hit workout for people who get bored easily. This total body workout never repeats the same move twice. And the only equipment required for today's routine is a pair of dumbbells. And the weight that you use will be totally dependent on your fitness level. Follow me for those easier modifications. And follow me for the standard movements. If you're ready to get started, let's do it. Okay, we're gonna get started with a nice little warm up. So the purpose of this warm up is just to get your heart rate up. It's not to burn you out. We're gonna do an arm crossover plus butt kick to start. AKA don't go crazy with this butt kick crossover movement. <laughs> exactly, this is just to get you loosened up. <laughs> we got plenty of actual workout coming up. So we're going stepping side to side, bringing that heel back kicking, trying to kick our glutes. And as we're crossing our arms over, I'd like you to alternate which arm is on top. Now for this one, as well as all the other ones for the rest of the day, we're not counting any repetitions. So we're just trying to complete as many reps as possible in the allotted time period. And we're breathing. Let's continue this one for five, four, three, two, one and zero. Next, we're gonna do a standing elbow to knee. So feet are shoulder width apart, hands are on her head. We're gonna go opposite elbow to opposite knee. Now, if you can't quite bring your knee up as far as we are, that's okay. Just do the best you can. Make sure to bring that in, knee up and in at the same time. So we're squeezing those abs. Loosening up our hips, our core, a little bit of shoulders in there. Breathing again, moving at a warm up pace, not a work pace. Let's do this one for five, four, three, two, one, and zero. All right, we're gonna do an arm pullover. Last one in the warm up round, feet shoulder width apart. Back is bent on a 45 degree angle. Arms are straight. We're gonna pull those arms up and over and then let them swing back the opposite way with your palm up. Trying to get full range of motion on this one. Being sure to breathe. Warming up that back, those arms. I'm feeling that my shoulders are ready. <laughs> Guess I need to slow it down a bit. Loosen it up, <laughs> get, heart, get that heart rate up a little bit. Let's hit this one for just five more seconds, everybody. And three, two, one, zero. Good. Okay, so we are going to need your dumbbells for the first exercise, both of them. And Claudia and I are going to be doing a different variation throughout the course of today's workout. You're going to need to decide if it's better for you to do my variations or Claudia's modifiers. Or a combo of the two. Or, yeah, combination of the two. Feet to shoulder width apart, a little bend in the knees. We're going to do a dumbbell clean, dumbbell swing back, and then forward and up. Now I'm going to drop into a reverse lunge. And I'm going to drop into a front squat. Both of us are putting our weight back on our hips, using those hips to drive forward and clean those dumbbells up. And Claudia is just going to hit that front squat. So she's on both legs equally where my variation is going to put the majority of your body weight on that front leg. And with the front squat, of course, I'm breaking at the hips, pushing my booty back into a squat and keeping my knees out. Do not let your knees collapse in. On this 
reverse lunge. I'm dropping that back knee till it gets to a 90 degree angle, alternating back and forth, right leg, then left leg. Good, let's keep this one up for 10 more seconds, guys. Stick with it. Breathe. We're gonna focus on that breathing today for five, four, three, two, one, zero. All right, so we just need one dumbbell for the next one. We're gonna go to the ground and do a push-up position. Claudia's gonna be on her knees. I'm gonna be up top. We're gonna go push up, and then as we come up, we're gonna row, pull that elbow in, twist, and press. You decide if it's better for you to be down on your knees or up top. And on the twist, you see I'm bringing my right knee up over my left one. So it's down, pull it into a row, and turn to the right with my right knee on top and back down. We're both keeping our core nice and straight and tight. Back stays nice and straight. You don't want that butt way up in the air. And we're gonna get equal time on both sides. Not excellent. Core stays tight throughout. Let's hit this one on this side for five, four, three, two, one, and switch. All right, other side. I know this is a good one. <laughs> All these movements today you're gonna notice are hitting multiple muscle groups at the same time. So this one's hitting your core, lower back, triceps, shoulders, chest. I don't know, I might even be missing something. That's okay, your body will tell you tomorrow. <laughs> right? You guys are doing great, keep it up. Keep that elbow in on both the row and that twist. Press straight up and back down. Let's hit this one for five, four, three, two, one, zero. We're up on our feet for the next one. Still need the one dumbbell. We're gonna do a side lunge or a side squat plus an upright row. I'm gonna take a big step where Claudia's gonna take a shorter step and then we're both dropping back with the weight in our hips. And as we come up, we're bringing that elbow nice and high. Pulling up from the elbow, being sure to breathe throughout. We're gonna get equal time on both legs. Good. If you're doing this side lunge, try your best to keep that inside leg nice and straight. We're both keeping our core tight, back straight. Good. Head up, chest up on the squat. Let's switch this one in five, four, three, two, one. Opposite side, right into it. Let's go. Good. So basically the bigger the step you take, the more of a challenge this one is gonna be. You decide which variation's right for you along the way. Ooh. A lot of unilateral moves we're gonna do today, which is basically working each side of the body separately from one another. Great technique to do to make sure you don't have any imbalances. And if you do, it'll help to work them out. Excellent. This one's working your hamstrings, your glutes, your quads, your core, your traps, shoulders. Let's hit this one for five, four, three, two, one. To the ground we're gonna go, one dumbbell still. We're gonna get up into a high plank position. I'm gonna do a bear plank, Claudia's gonna be on her knees. We're both gonna row, pull back from the elbow, renegade row, and then knee up and in. You decide if you're gonna do it from your knees or in this bear plank position. Either way, you're keeping your back straight, core tight, pull back from that elbow on your row. Remembering to breathe through the movement. Definitely. Do not hold your breath. Anytime we get up in this plank position, really gotta focus on your breathing. It's easy to hold that breath. Good. If you're doing this bear plank, trying to keep both knees bent at a 90 degree angle. Let's hit this one in this side for five, four, three, two, one. Opposite side, switch it up, and right into it, guys. Just everything's opposite. Opposite arm pulls, and knee up, and in. 
Excellent work. Throughout the course of today's workout, you are going to be challenged. You are going to have times where you're thinking about, why am I here right now? So it's important that you focus on what motivates you, what drives you, what brought you here today to begin with, because that is what's going to be the thing that gets you through to the end. Come on, keep it up. Let's hit this one for five more seconds. Almost there, guys. Three, two, one, zero. Good. We need both dumbbells for the next one. We're doing a one and a half sumo deadlift. Legs are nice and wide, toes are pointed out, dumbbells are in front. Weight back on our hips, break at the knees, up, and then ha halfway up and back down. We're going one and a half. I'm gonna jump. Claudia is just gonna do the one and a half. So all the way down, halfway up, back down, and repeat. Keep you your, decide. Go ahead, sorry. I was gonna say, you decide if that jump is right for you. Keep your head up, chest up, and drop that weight back into your hips. Come right back up and squeeze your glutes right at the top. This one is all about that backside. Just making sure you're getting your weight back there on every rep. Good. Let's keep this one up for five, four, three, two, one, zero. Good. Okay, we need your dumbbells for the next one. We're going to the ground, lying down on our backs. Claudia's gonna have her feet up. I'm gonna have my legs straight. We are gonna do a press to elbow. So we're gonna press up on that opposite elbow to make this exercise harder. You can do an isometric leg raise. We just hold those legs out straight in front of you. And you decide which variation is right for you. So we're pressing up and across and crunching at the same time and rolling onto that opposite side elbow. Now, if you wanna do a mixture of the two, you can have your knees bent and that'll get your abs involved to a certain degree, but not quite as extreme as having your legs out straight. Again, you decide which variation's right for you, making sure to breathe. Whatever you do, do not hold your breath on this one. Good, keep it going. Let's hit this one for 10 more seconds. Stick with it side to side for five, four, three, two, one, zero. We need both dumbbells up on your feet. We have a skier swing next. Feet are shoulder width apart, little bend in our knees, both palms facing one another. Swing those dumbbells back. I'm gonna swing my dumbbells up overhead where Claudia is gonna swing hers out until they're parallel to the ground. But the big thing that both of these moves have in common is you're doing the work with your hips, your lower back hamstrings. It's not about your arms. They're really just along for the ride. Keep your back nice and straight. Head in a neutral position. Good. Keep it up, guys. Popping those hips. Big power on those hips. Butt back, then butt forward. One right into the next. You're a machine. You got it. Keep a slight bend in those knees throughout. A little bend your elbows, too. Don't have your arms locked out. You got it. Keep it up, guys. Let's hit this one for 10 more seconds. Good, good, good. Hit it for five, four, three, two, one, zero. All right, we need both dumbbells again. Going to the ground. We're going to do a combo move, an isometric hip up, plus a dumbbell pullover. So we're on our feet, balls are on our feet. We're pressing off of our heels, get our hips up off the ground. Back is straight. We're going to perform a pullover. Slight bend in the elbows. Pulling over. Do not bounce the dumbbells off the ground. And pull back to make the workout harder. One leg is straight and you're balancing on the other. Driving off that heel. Using those glutes to keep you up. Don't hyperextend your back or arch your back. But instead, focus on driving off that heel, making your hamstrings and glutes do the work. Absolutely. I'm up here squeezing my glutes at the top of this hip up. Just keeping them nice and tight. Meanwhile, we're performing that pull up using your, stretching your lats and your chest to pull them back over. Excellent. If you're doing one leg, let's switch. Opposite side. 
Good. Keep it up, guys. You're doing great so far. Remember, focus on what brought you here. What is it? What's your why? Why are you here? Keep it at the front of your mind, not the back of your mind. Do this, you can do anything. It's all in your head. One rep into the next. You got it. Good. Let's hit this one for five, four, three, two, one, and zero. We're turning over. We need these dumbbells. Well, I'm sorry, just one dumbbell for the next one. In a high plank position, we're doing high plank dumbbell transfer. So come up, either onto your feet or onto your knees, back is straight. We're gonna move this one dumbbell from side to side or transfer it from side to side. So we're coming up onto one arm. This focus forcing us to stabilize with our abs while we move your weight back and forth. You wanna get creative. You can move it around in different places, make it harder on yourself. So you really have to go and find it. Good. One rep into the next. You guys got it. That core tight, back straight, being sure to breathe. Breathe throughout. Don't hold your breath. You should be able to balance a glass of water on your back with how straight it is. Focus on it. Keep it up, guys. One rep into the next. Good. This one's working your core, your legs, shoulders, back. A lot of muscles getting hit on this one. Keep it up, almost done. Hit 10 more seconds here. Good. How many switches can you get? Let's push that pace for five, four, three, two, one, zero. On our feet, we need just the one dumbbell again. We're both gonna get into a split stance. I'm gonna drop all the way down, dropping that back knee till it's at a 90. Claudia's gonna drop a quarter of the way down. Now we're gonna do an Arnold press. Palm starts facing us, and then as you press, you twist that palm till it faces forward. Keep that arm nice and close. You're finishing with your bicep by your ear. The opposite arm is out for balance. And you're just holding this position. Now your legs are gonna burn up on this one. You decide how hard you want to make it by one with the weight you're using, but also by how deep you go into that split squat position. One side at a time, almost there on this side. Let's hit this one for five, four, three, two, one. Opposite side now, right into it. No breaks, you got it. You're a machine, let's see it right here. Whatever you do today, don't stop this video. Don't pause it, you got it. I want you to push through, keep working, keep fighting. Keep that core nice and tight. Bring that belly button in towards that spine and keep pushing that weight up over your head. Shoulders stay nice and square, you got it guys. Stay strong here, stay strong, almost there. For five, four, three, two, one, zero, good. Okay, we need just the one dumbbell for the next one. We're gonna do a one arm snatch. We're both doing the same move, so adjust your weight accordingly. Feet are shoulder width apart, little bend the knees, hips go back, elbow comes up, and go ahead and flip that dumbbell up and over. So we're getting that momentum and power from our hips, driving those hips forward. And as you do that, you're gonna bring your elbow straight up, and also bring your hand up like you're zipping up a jacket. Just picture that, it's coming straight up. And when that dumbbell reaches its highest point, Go ahead and flip the dumbbell over and catch it. This one might take a couple repetitions to get the hang of it. Keep your core tight, back stay straight. And again, the modification on this one is just lighter weight. And if you don't have light enough weight, feel free to pick up a water bottle or something light and go ahead and continue following along. Whatever you do, don't take a break, don't stop. Just keep fighting here with us. Let's switch sides in three, two, one, zero. Opposite side, right into it, good. Remembering to engage those hips on every rep. So I'm pushing my butt back and then my butt comes forward. It's that simple every time. Hips back, hips forward, big power. You got it, come on. Pushing through, you're a powerhouse. Let's get after it. Once you get the hang of it, I want you to pick that pace up, focusing on what drives you. What is it? Why are you here? Come on, keep it up. Let's hit this one for 10 more seconds. 
You got it, you got it. Push for five, four, three, two, one, and zero. We're to the ground, just the one dumbbell again. We're gonna get into a crab position. So feet are kind of close to us, palms are facing, for our fingers are facing forward, and we're gonna come up. With that one dumbbell, I'm gonna curl and then press. Claudia is only going to do the curl. You decide which variation is right for you. And that curl, you're just pulling up from the elbow, using that elbow as a hinge. We're gonna do the press, when press straight up from that position. And this is a hammer curl movement as opposed to a, a uh, regular bicep. You have your palm facing you, you're gonna keep your palm facing in on the hammer curl. This one engages more of your forearms, a little different part of your bicep. Try your best to keep your core tight. Keep your shoulders nice and square. You don't wanna be leaning too terribly to one side or the other. Excellent work. Just this awkwardness of this one. It's supposed to feel awkward. Forces your body to stabilize. A lot of muscles working and engaging here. Let's switch sides in three, two, one, zero. Opposite side, switch it up. If you don't have to, don't go down in between. Good. Find that right sweet spot for your hand where it feels better and keep it up. You got it, one into the next. Stay focused, guys. Stay in it, rep by rep. Don't let your mind drift off. Be right here. Focus on what you're working towards. What's that goal? What are you after? What are you trying to do to get there every day? Let's go, come on. Get after it, guys. Let's hit this one for five, four, three, two, one, zero. Nice. All right, we need both dumbbells for the next one. We're gonna hit those legs next. We're gonna do either a squat plus shrug and calf raise or a squat plus shrug and jump. You decide which version is right for you. It's very biomechanically very similar moves. The only difference is I'm getting speed momentum going and I'm actually jumping at the top. Either way, we're dropping those hips. Weight back in your hips, that is. Keeping those knees out. And on that shrug, you're bringing your shoulders to your ears using those trap muscles. Good, one to the next. It's a tough one, guys. We're not imagining it. We're right here with you, suffering through it with you. That's all right, think about how good you're gonna feel when it's all said and done. One into the next. Good. Stay focused on this one. Let's hit it for 10 more seconds. Almost there, almost there. And five, four, three, two, one, zero. Whew, both dumbbells needed. Let's go to the ground for the next one. We're gonna do a hollow body plus chest press. First thing you're gonna do is bring your chin up off the ground and get your shoulder blades off the ground. Helps keep your back straight. Now, I'm gonna press with my legs out straight. Claudia's gonna do it with her knees bent. Chest press plus hollow body. The straighter your legs are, the harder this one will be. You decide what's right for you. Good. Keep that chin tucked, head up. It'll help you keep your back flat on the ground. You don't want your back to come up and start arching. Good, stay in it guys. Tough one, I know. Remembering to breathe. On these types of movements, you definitely, or on every movement, you want to exhale as you're lifting the weights up over your body. So you exhale up and inhale on the way back down. Staying focused, this one's working your abs, your legs just a little bit, but mostly your chest, shoulders, and your core. Keep it up. Let's hit this one for five, four, three, two, one, zero. We're up on our feet. Ooh. Let's get those legs going now. I'm gonna do a reaching lunge. Claudia's gonna do a reaching split squat. Difference is I'm gonna step every time, dropping that knee down to a 90 and reach at the same time. Claudia is just go ahead and starting in that split stance position, dropping that back knee to a 90. Bringing those weights right in front of my shin and right back up. Like you're reaching for something like the name reaching lunge or 
reaching split squat suggests we're gonna go half and half on each side. Keep it up, we're right there with you. Feel those quads burning. We feel them too, but you're stronger than that burn. Switching sides in three, two, one, zero. Opposite side, right into it. Come on, you got it, guys. Just dropping that knee straight down. Your sensation to quit may be strong, but your will is stronger. Keep it up, fight through it. How tough are you? Prove it to yourself today. You got it, one into the next. Staying focused on your grind. Every rep, getting you a little bit closer to where you need to be. Good. Let's hit this one for five. Four, three, two, one, zero. Ooh. Nice. All right, this is your one and only rest period. We got a 20 second rest. If you need some water, you want a towel, whatever it is. Catch your breath. Now is the time to do it because we're getting right back into it here in 10 seconds. We have those stiff leg deadlifts, either the one leg stiff leg deadlift or the two leg, you decide. Or a combination of the two, or whatever you want to do. What's right for you. Let's get it going here in three, two, one. Let's hit it. Now remember, the second time around, you're a little more familiar with the movements. So we're gonna try to keep the pace elevated, keep that pace up, a little less transition time between the moves, one right into the next. That's right, let's pick up the pace a little bit here. On this one, you got that slight bend in your knees, whoop, and you're driving those heels back. Remember, if you're doing the one leg to focus your eyes on something, help you keep that balance. Oh, that's what I need to do right now. There we go. And as you get more fatigued, of course, your balance isn't going to quite be what it was in the first round. But just stay focused. Grind them out one into the next. Feel that stretch as you go down. Excellent work. Keep that back straight. You got it right here. Focus on what motivates you. Trying to lose and some weight. Five seconds. Whatever it is you're trying to do, stay on it for two, one, zero. Good. Both dumbbells needed. To the ground we go. We got that hip up, press, and pull over combo. So let's go. Drive off those heels. Hip up, press. Slight bend in the elbows as you pull over and back. Return. That's it. Up, press, pull over. You got it, guys. Again, you notice we're sticking with some pretty fast pace. One into the next here. You got it now. Stick with this pace throughout this workout. No pausing, no giving up. If you got to switch to an easier modification, that's totally okay. But I want you, or lighter weight, that's another option, right? That's why it's nice to have a couple different dumbbell variations. Dumbbell options, if you need to switch up the weight, go heavier, go lower. But just keep moving. You got this. Come on, one into the next. You can do it. That's right. Better than you think. That's it. Getting a little bit better rep by rep. Remember what you came here for. Stick with it. It's all in your head. I have more seconds on this movement. Oh, it's going, going by so fast. You got it. For three, two, one, zero. We're up on our feet. We only need one dumbbell for the next one. We're going either side lunge or side squat, big step, reach across, pull up from that elbow. That's it. And you got it one into the next. Breathe, We're splitting our time, half and half on each side. And place that opposite hand on your hip if you'd like, just for balance, for a place to put it. Good job, guys, you got it. Another total body movement here, hitting the legs, as well as your upper body and your back. Five more seconds and we're switching sides. Switching in two, one, zero. Let's go. Come on, keep it up. What you got? What you got? I want you to fight so hard today that you impress yourself. I want you to achieve more than you thought you were capable of achieving. Let's go. It's you versus you. Not you versus Claudia or I. Nope. Or anybody else. This is all about you. You deserve it. Be more fit than you ever thought you could be. I am not your competition. We're your teammates, not your competition. That's right. Let's hit it. Let's go. Five seconds. And three, two, one, zero. Nice. Okay, we need both dumbbells for this next one. We're going to go dumbbell 
row and reach. Feet are a little wider than shoulder width. Dumbbells are in the middle of our legs. Bend over 45. Pull back from that elbow. Turn and press. Good. Reach, pull. Good. Ooh. One to the next, guys. You're a machine. You got this. Nothing can slow you down. You could do this all day long. Come on. Get after it right here, guys. You got it. Stay focused. Stay in it. Pushing yourself because nobody else can or will do it for you. Anytime we do any of these rows, really focus on pulling back from that elbow. Not from your hand, but from that elbow like you have a string attached to your elbow. Good. Stick with it. What you got? What you got? Let it all out there. Not much longer, guys. Getting a little bit closer to your goal with every single rep. Five more seconds. Here it is. Here it is. Finish strong. Three, two, one, zero. Dumbbell stay in your hands. We got skiers next. Feet shoulder width apart. Swing those dumbbells back. Either bring them overhead or arms to parallel. You Ooh. decide which variation is right for you, but I want you to keep that back straight. Drive those hamstrings and glutes back behind you. That's right, using those hips, not those arms. And then squeeze those glutes up at the top. Nice, come on. How many can you get? It's a good one to pick the pace up on. Let's go, come on. Put it out there. What are you waiting for? Don't feel like you need to save anything in this workout. Just keep going 100%. Whatever your 100% looks like, let's see it. Come on. You got it, guys. You got it. Keep at it. Keep breathing. Don't hold your breath. Back and core stays nice and tight, nice and straight. Good. Okay, Almost we there. Got five more seconds. Let's go. Finish strong. Three, two, one, zero. Nice. All right, we're moving into that reverse lunge. Now it's either the reverse lunge plus swing or just that stationary reverse lunge. Either way, alternating legs. We're gonna burn out that lower body. That's okay, that's what we came here for. That's how we know it's working. I'm familiar with the move, so I'm expecting you to move at a little bit of a faster pace here. If you're doing this swing, make sure you get those hips involved. Then swing, pop those hips forward, squeeze those glutes up at the top core nice and tight as you drop it back down to a 90 trying not to bounce that back knee off the floor one rep right into That's the right. next down and pop it right back up when those legs start to catch on fire <laughs> they get that burning sensation it's important to remember that's just lactic acid just that fuel that your muscles use and you don't have to listen to it that little nerve response your legs got plenty left in them Woo. they're not done five more seconds Come on, let's go. You got it. Keep pushing. Let's go. Three, two, one, zero. Nice. To the ground we go. We got that lying fly plus either leg raise or knee raise. No break. Remember, we're right into it here. I want you to tuck that chin into your chest, and that helps you keep your lower back flat on the ground. I don't want your lower back coming up off the ground and arching on this one. Good. Squeeze your chest and your abs up at the top. Come on. Like you're hugging a big old tree. That's it. Wrapping around and squeeze. Come on, guys. Let's go. You got it. Rep by rep. Halfway through this movement. That's it. Put it all out there. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. What are you waiting for? Come on. Nice work, guys. We're burning just like you are. That's right. Right there with you. We can't quit. You can't quit. We're going to keep fighting right through the end. We're not going to stop when it starts to hurt. We got five more seconds. We're going to stop when it's done. Let's go. Three, two, one, zero. Nice. Only one dumbbell for this next one. I'm getting to that high plank. Claudia's in her split stance. Either way, we're going row plus reach and press. Nice. You decide which variation is right for you today. Mine's working a little more legs and a little more core. Claudia's is also a great movement. And you know, if today you're doing some of the easier moves, 
that's all right come back get a little bit better maybe try out some of these harder ones or if you're already doing the harder ones come back and just increase your weight using a little heavier weight even if it's only two switch insides in five seconds three two one switch sides even when you come back if it's only two three four five more pounds make a huge difference heck yes it does <laughs> <laughs> makes a huge difference i've had to switch weights in the middle of a workout before that's all right that's right but you kept moving that's the goal that's the key just don't give up guys come on keep grinding you're better than giving up you're a fighter not a quitter fighter through and through prove it to yourself you can do this you can do anything you got five more seconds let's hit it for three two one and zero need both dumbbells for the next one for standing up that sumo deadlift plus curl sumo deadlift curl press you got it weight back in the hips toes are pointed out just a little bit make sure you drive those knees out as you sit down sit back don't allow your knees to come or fall in this is a great one for your hamstrings glutes quads biceps shoulders triceps core just everything i'm gonna say it's easier to this is a compound move easier to name the body parts that it's not working and we can feel it guys right there with you it's all right it's how we know it's working putting in that work so we can accomplish our goals we're getting that much closer with every rep Woo. picture it like a big old staircase and everything you want is at the top of that staircase and all you got to do is climb it one step at a time that's what life is all about we got five more seconds on this no move. elevator guys no elevator let's take in the stairs right here three two one zero only one dumbbell needed for this next one let's go to the ground let's get it right here get after it i'm in that bare plank position tricep kickbacks claudia's in the plank from her knees you decide which one is right for you whatever you do don't you give up don't you slow down you're better than that you deserve better than that come on let's go extend at that elbow squeeze that tricep up at the top try your best keep your core nice and tight and parallel to the ground nice and square you don't want to rotate on this one switching sides in five seconds let's go three two one zero switch sides right into it right into it come on what you got put it all out there this is it right here guys this is it everything you got what are you made of come on prove it to yourself everybody prove it to yourself what you got what you got good stay focused come on let's go you're a fighter let's see it let's see it breathe get that oxygen going got five more seconds guys three two one zero Woo. and that uh, is how it's done uh, nice work out there everybody way to go has fit tribe there you go claudia we're gonna do a quick little cool down just allow your heart rate to come down slowly yep. we also get a little extra mobility work in we start with our feet staggered we're gonna do a staggered chest stretch once you have your thumbs up arms are low pull those hands back behind you like someone's pulling on your hands back there now i want you to slowly raise your arms while still trying to pull your arms back behind you hands back behind you so your arms are about parallel to the ground and just hold keep pulling those hands back behind you like you're trying to touch your hands behind your back so obviously that's not going to happen <laughs> it obviously you, but it gives you a great chest not especially after that shoulder. workout no oh. you great chest and shoulder stretch <sighs> a couple deep breaths nice you guys did great today Whew. let's keep this up for five four three two one ah shake it loose nice okay let's go to the ground we're gonna do a little little yoga move here we're gonna do a downward dog claudia's gonna do it from her knees i'm doing it up top either way we're gonna sit back drive our hips back behind us at the same time draw your navel in to your your abs and your core and stretch those shoulders at the same time really pull your body and your butt back behind you feel that stretch all along your posterior chain whether you're doing the standing or version on your knees very similar just drive those hips back behind you nice 
Let's hold this one for five, four, three, two, one. Okay, we're gonna transition into a cobra. So we're gonna come down, hips to the ground. Claudia's gonna do this one from her forearms. I'm gonna be up on my hands and my toes. So notice my legs aren't on the ground either, where Claudia has her legs relaxed. You decide which variation's right for you. Either way, I want you to drive that chin up to the ceiling, chest is up. And if on the forearms is still too easy for you, you can keep your body on the ground and just push up. Again, you nice decide, stretch in those abs. You decide which variation's right for you. Just hold and breathe. Hard part's done today. Five, four, three, two, one. Last one, child pose. Same move for both of us. From your knees, go ahead and sit back. You wanna try your best to sit all the way back onto your glutes. And this one's gonna be especially hard after that workout. Arms stay in front. Bring your upper body to the ground. Try your best to keep your arms straight. And try and also your best to basically sit back onto your feet. Nice deep breaths. I want you to think about everything that motivates you while you're here right now doing what you're doing. I want you to be proud of yourself for what you've achieved and getting yourself just that much closer to your goal. Take a second here to say, hey, you know what? I did what I was supposed to do. Let me check that one off the list. Take just one second to feel good about yourself and then it's right back to it. And we'll see you again tomorrow. Let's breathe for five, four, three, two, one, zero. And that's it. Take a big deep breath. Come up slowly so you don't pass out. Oh. <laughs> Excellent work out there. Thank you so much for all of your hard work. Yes. If you like this workout and you've been working out with us for a while, we'd ask you please go check out our Patreon page where you can find out more about how you can support our mission of keeping these great workouts free. And if you enjoyed working out with us today, we ask that you please give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel. That way you are notified every time HasFit drops a new workout. Make sure to check out hasfit.com for hundreds of free workouts, free meal plans, and our free complete fitness program. And if you are on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, come find HasFit. We're there and we want to connect with you. Again, thank you so much for giving us the privilege of working out with you today. I'm Coach Kozak. And I'm Claudia. And we will see you at your next workout.